breakfast this morning. Well, dogs are still with me. The dogs are still with me. Uh, they stayed at our campsite, like, pretty much all night. I don't know. I don't know if they, like, don't have owners at this point. But then, like, if they're strays, I'm just really shocked that they're hanging out. So, when Marcy is signal, she's going to try to call a couple people to see, you know, somebody else may get in the dogs. I don't know if somebody's lost the dogs. She's going to post it on the Bartram Trail page, too, but feel like they'd be so attached if they had owners but it seems like they would have went back to where they lived it's so weird but i absolutely cannot and, and honestly don't want to take them um that's something i decided a long time ago i don't really have the space the money the time that needs to be invested to have a pet and I definitely love animals but that's why you know I know I love them I know I love them enough to pet them and then leave <laughs> because I want to be able to take a care of them the way I think they you know need to be taken care of so I just feel so bad for them because they are so attached to me for some crazy reason I have no idea why I'll leave this beautiful view it's pretty might be the Earl's Ford maybe I don't know um I think I go across oh my god I can't even tell how deep it is all right I'm glad I looked around first there was a trail it was, it was hidden up on the side there I was like god I hope I don't have to cross that because it looked kind of deep maybe I am just missing these blazes but I swear I have been like really trying to keep an eye out for them and just this area from around like near dicks creek and then on the places are just not really good um and what i mean is not necessarily just on the trail i mean that too but um like when you get to like these intersections like i feel like any trail when you, when there's an intersection or you know a place where the trail splits off and there's other even if it's campsites, there needs to be like clear, you know, directions on which way to go because I mean, I almost was about to ford that crossing because the Gaia app was showing you going through the water. Like it shows literally going through the water. And I'm like, and the only reason I kind of kept second guessing myself was like, was because it, it looked pretty deep out in the middle. And I was like, I am not crossing this by myself. This is, it's too deep and it's flowing pretty good. No, <laughs> but I didn't know what else to do. So I thought I'm just going to kind of walk back this other way and just see. And then that's when I saw the sign, that sign that said hiking only, but I don't know. Maybe it's me. Maybe I'm just missing spots, but I mean, up until recently, I mean, even with North, North Carolina and like the down trees and stuff, I never got felt like I got turned around or anything but man this area through here it's, um gotta be careful you like this trail you just have to be real careful about paying attention and you can't always go by those apps all right perfect example you've got a fork they got this really nice bridge which, which make you think you go that way and the dog's going that way and he seems to know the trail I'm assuming that's it but there should be a blaze on that bridge something yeah, they're gonna have to fix this because this is how you get lost. It's a nice bridge though. 
Well, I just looked on the app and somebody put that across the river over a large mail bridge. So, there you go. There's some holes in it. That's pretty. This is a very lovely flat stroll along the river. It's nice. I'm enjoying it with a dog that's not mine. <laughs> Oh, what happened to the other dog? He's probably somewhere around here. He randomly shows up sometimes. One of the old blazes they used to the georgia section used to have the yellow diamonds but um they were changed to the rectangles i think but it's cool we went all out on that bridge it even has a wire um railing which is probably not needed but still nice small ups but honestly it's been a really nice day <laughs> get several of these like little flattish stretches it's nice i think i'm halfway done i think that's part of an old teal huh it's neat i found mercy and we're not far we're probably maybe a mile and a half from the road we're almost done I found the black dog. It went away. I hadn't seen it for like six miles. It's been following Marcy. <laughs> and of course the other dog's right behind me. Right there goes that little dog. Oh, hopefully someone will pick him up. Marcy posted something. So hopefully someone will claim the dogs. This is Russell Bridge. I don't know. I haven't looked on the Gaia app. It's a big bridge though. Look. I'm not near the road though. So this is probably how you do it. Well. Here's the other side. Okay, that's definitely not Russell Bridge because we're not at the end. And I'm pretty sure that the Russell Bridge goes like right to the road. So, but got to be very close. The dogs went up with Marcy, so I got the charge myself right now. <laughs> Yay. Poor Marcy, she's got like four dogs. Uh, that's back behind me. We're about done. So this is it. Is that a great Woohoo! We did it! This is busy. Well, it's not busy. But... Yay! The barge and drill is complete. And we have 14 oh. dogs. <laughs> you hiked the barge and drill! Woohoo! There's the rock right there. Nice. Let's touch this bad boy. Woot woot! Woohoo! Woo we did Feels it! so good. Although this is Marcy's second time doing this trail. And it and is amazing. Yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah, you did great. And the first time for these 
Well, wait, has Coda done this? Yes. Okay, okay, second time for Coda, first time for Stormy. He's only done half. Well, actually, you're right. Only done half, but still, it's impressive for a puppy. Look at this dog. And the other one, too, was a minute ago. It's over there. And then, and then Coda was getting jealous, and he came over here to get love. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> sweet dogs. I know, oh, four dogs. What the heck? <laughs> Coda. Mm -hmm. You say hi? Say hi. Yay, Sharpa's here. Woohoo! Look at that car load. Woohoo! Sharpa Owl. He just got us picked up. So, you're doing the marching trail. Make sure you contact Sharpa Owl. Oh. Put his number. I'm gonna put your number in my description on my YouTube. Three o five two one six seven two three four. There you go. Call him. He is awesome. Sherpa Al, the hiker's pal. Yes, he's awesome, and he will shuttle you on the bird trip. And look, we got Marcy's back there. With we got four dogs in here. You can't see the two of them. I don't think. Two smelly hikers, one smelling good guy, and four stinky dogs. Yeah, I bet. I bet Sharp is like, oh lord. No, well, I don't shower just so that I <laughs> so could, you don't just smell so us. I could mix in with all the hikers. Good, good uh, I'm, yeah, that's probably a good idea. Yep. So we're we're gonna take the two dogs to the humane side of society, and hopefully they'll find their owners or get them a good home. All right, Sharpie's off to us up oh, in our car. <laughs> Thank you, Sharpie. You're the best shuttle person ever. Thank you. Yeah, you can spray me with that. What is that? Oh, for, for Reese? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, I know. I know. Thank you again. So awesome. Bye, Marcy. Good Bye. to hike with you again. Sherpa was Al is super awesome. He took us by the Humane Society and we were able to, they took the dogs. So hopefully they'll either, you know, find the owner or find good homes for them. But it was crazy. They hiked 15 miles with me um, and Marcy, like pretty much. The black dog hiked with Marcy for a while, but anyway. 18 Gretchen, quick update. We actually took them to a rescue center, but the owners actually ended up reaching out to Marcy, so the dogs do have owners, and so they are now going to be going back to their owners again. So hopefully they'll put tags on them so that they can be tracked in the future if they get away from home. All right, back to the video. So we did like 8.3 today, so I think it's 55.5 or something like that around 56 miles is what I did for this portion since getting back on the trail and I think I guess it was like a total of 102 miles or something we you know we didn't do the road walk I uh, did hear from a guy who does the trail maintenance said that they're looking to try to do uh, make the road walk actually go along the greenway so there will be seven miles on the greenway when they actually finally do that I'll probably come back out and finish that part you know so I can have the whole trail all the way through but uh man, it's a very challenging hike the marching trail is very challenging um there's a lot of beautiful spots a lot of waterfalls some views but it, it's definitely a tough trail i would say out of all the trails i've done it's definitely one of the toughest for the distance you know for a hundred mile trail pretty tough um but i mean i still think it's a great trail there's a lot of beautiful spots and um, I mean, definitely if you like a challenge, it's a great trail for that. Now, if you, you know, are looking for maybe an easier trail, that's definitely not the Bartram Trail. <laughs> but uh, if you want a trail to um, train for the AT, it's a perfect trail for that. Perfect training for the AT trail. So, um, anyway, so I'm going to go find me a burger and fries because I'm really hungry. And then I'm going to drive home to my hubby and see Jerry. I miss him so much and glad to be home. So overall, this hike was basically was a 10 day hike. Uh, obviously on my videos, it's 11 days because day six is day seven and was a repeat of day six or at least part of it. So overall, it took me 10 days to do this trail and uh, obviously not all at once. But we ended up with great weather uh, all these five days, perfect weather. So it was worth it. I mean, this way I got to see all the parts of the trail. I didn't miss anything because of rain. Uh, you guys get to see all the parts of the trail. 
and um, didn't really see any animals uh, except a couple of geese. Saw a turkey that flew by, but I didn't get on video. And of course, dogs. <laughs> but anyway, so until the next video, thanks for watching and see you guys later. Bye.